have sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, it's Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. You got a two game header here with four kills each and with the Druid and Delara and hope you enjoy it. The first one's Druid Heavy AP on the map Islands of Eyes. Before we begin, like subscribe button below. Appreciate all the support. At 2,000 subs, doing a free premium DD giveaway. So let's get right to the action. Druid, um, uh, this is built with the, <coughs> excuse me, Heavy AP uh, style of gunboating and you can see right here, if we get this small lens right on the money, and we might get some citadels, boom, right there. Boom and boom. And that, this is exactly why I like the Druid so much, especially with the heavy AP. It just it punishes light cruisers, broadsides, and pretty awesome. And we're going to keep blind firing right into the smoke. We're in the smoke right now, and we get some nice juicy penetrations. 23,000 damage already right off the bat. Unfortunately, we do pay for it. Uh, with the damage that they took and notice how everyone is shooting at us because why we're the biggest distraction on the map And that's exactly what you want to do if you are a good destroyer player You want to draw fire as much as you can all while maintaining good fire support and spotting ability now We get spotted we go loud right here I'm not too worried. I think I like about the druid notice that the smallest would rather shoot at me than anybody else Notice that the um, the druid does have heals and that's exactly why I like it and boom splash one He goes down we take out the small ones. It feels so good to take out that broken OP ship um, if you don't know what the Smolensk is, Smolensk is, go look it up on YouTube and figure out why people hate it so much. It's really annoying to play against. It used to be so broken back in the day when everybody could get it. Now it's gone because of that reason. They just had to remove it from all that uh, HE cancer that was spreading across the game. But I digress. Going back here, we're going to go loud again. We are going full aggressive here to hold this flank because we really want Charlie Cap as much as possible when shooting on the Montana right here. Montana, I think, is a really good battleship. I think it's one of the best American BBs in the line. 12 guns, a 406 millimeter heavy hitting AP that I really do enjoy. But unfortunately, we do not like to have a Montana sitting around here. We're going to help our team. Look at everybody shooting us. We are taking at least half a million potential damage already because we are just being that annoying pesky destroyer player that everybody wants to kill and do we get the skill boom slash two we get the extra consumable consumable uh with the commander perk there if you get two kills in a game in a random or rank you get the uh, extra heal and that is exactly why you need it a lot to survive in the druid because you are taking so much firepower and damage incoming fire everything and now we're going to use our this is kind of the more lazy, very calm, peaceful way of shooting a druid where you're just nose in, sitting in smoke, and you're just hit, sending in that all that heavy AP. And just look what this heavy AP is doing to this Ohio. It's just taking 780, 780, 780, cashing it in so much. And we are just racking up the damage right there. And that's exactly why he's probably going to turn away right now because he's like, you know what? I cannot absorb this much damage. And that's exactly what the uh, Druid is very good at, especially with this heavy AP now. I've noticed that you get a slower reload rate because you may sacrifice one perk for that, but you're getting making up for it in the damage received. Now, here we go. We want to always eliminate the other enemy destroyer player, so we're going to go ahead and focus on the Sherman. Again, the Sherman knows the same priorities, eliminate DD, so he's going to be shooting at us. And unfortunately, he's shooting his sap, which if you angle it at a certain, um, a, a very good position for angling, you, you notice that it's deflecting a lot of his shells. He's not getting that full pen damage that he would like, but unfortunately he didn't angle to us and our very improved ricochet angles and heavy AP will eliminate him as well. Splash three, he goes down. Well, only 59,000 damage. We were taking 718,000 potential damage and now we've secured this flank and we're able to uh, push in with ease and eliminate this entire fleet over here so that our our flank can in, then engage and push forward. We're going to use our last heal here and just uh, get as much damage as we can. <laughs> There's a funny comment right there. Kill Ripper, he will tear us apart, told us he's a super unicorn. I don't even know what the real unicorn means. Some kind of interesting term I've heard over the years of playing this game. I guess that means that you're okay, uh, an okay player, whatever. I'm not really a streamer yet, guys. I'm just really a YouTuber that just likes making videos for you guys to enjoy and just kind of have a, a nice voice uh, in the background watching ships shoot ships and it's kind of that kind of majestic calm feeling of just uh, a ballet of ships just roaming around the maps of A and B and C cap and we're just trying to <laughs> have a nice uh, engagement of uh, naval warfare but I do digress it's pretty fun I don't know this game something about this uh, shooting a battleship with AP or HE it's just something soothing about it I don't know what it is. You guys explain to me what it is, but it's just that's why I can never get tired of this game, even with all the cancer of CVs and submarines. There is still somewhat enjoyment of it that keeps people coming back. And I think it's this right here where you're just watching hit points tick up and you're like taking damage and you're just hearing the guns firing. You're on a ship on a majestic ocean and you're engaging in an epic battle scene. Maybe that's why I like it so much, but 
Yeah, let's see if we can take it. Now, even though Vermont is angled to us, uh, we're going to see if we can arc the shells and just kind of aim right after his turret and let them plunge into his superstructure, which is allowing us to get 390 damage here and there, which is still damage. I mean, you don't realize this is a death by a thousand paper cuts, and that's why I like the Druid a lot. With the reload rate on this thing, you can really do a death by a thousand paper cuts a very, very effectively, and it's totally devastating on an entire enemy team, and it just don't like it. Vermont goes down with the pressure fire, and now we have a Minotaur are actually trying to flank us to the north so you know what nothing better than a light cruiser for a druid so let's go ahead and engage and try to save our louisiana unfortunately louisiana taking a full brunt of torpedoes and he goes down just like that but you know what we're gonna see if we can eliminate this minotaur right off the bat he is angled but that that's, that's not gonna do much for him because we're gonna just plunge this these uh heavy ap shells into a superstructure now he goes undetected in his smoke Unfortunately, he has nobody spotting for him, so it's not like his smoke's going to do him much good if no one's spotting for him shooting, but we do have to be aware he does have 5-kilometer um, hydro. Uh, if he doesn't have the radar, obviously he's using smoke, therefore he doesn't have radar, so we can go ahead and push in as close as we can. And you know what? Since we're already winning the game, might as well bum rush this guy, get detected by his hydro, and I'll take the uh, sacrifice here and just see if we can just bum rush and see what happens. Hopefully I get to him before his guns can kill me when I'm in his hydro range. His hydro range is about 5 and let's see if we can get close the distance to let our hydro work, which we can detect ships at three. So I got to close the two kilometer distance here in a short amount of time and then get those shells plunging right into his, um, his citadel or his uh, broadside. And let's see how we can do. Let's see. There goes the hydro. He detects us at five. So I know he's within five now. I got to keep drawing, driving the distance for 36 knots. He's probably sitting stationary right now, waiting for these initial shots to be shot at us. Let's see what's going to happen now. We're nosed in. So these AP shells should hopefully deflect off of us. And let's see. Wow. I'm surprised he's not shooting at us right now. Come on, where is he? There he is. Oh, he's almost dead. So, yeah, one one or two shells right into his superstructure. And Citadel right there. He goes down. Here come the torpedoes. They're slow enough that we can actually maneuver and dodge and get out of this situation. But anyways, that is the game. Four kills, 100, only 103,000 damage. And, yeah, the funny Chad Ripper taking the whole team. No, I didn't take the whole team. I just helped to flank out, and we did the best we could. And it led to a good, solid victory. But that's the Druid. Um, stay tuned for the next video with Delarna. And uh, again, reason why I like the Druid so much, really good against light cruisers, bullies DDs when you get the chance, long range AP fire into battleships. So it literally solves all the three performances that I do like um, when I need to help out a team. Uh, with uh, providing fire support spotting I get smoke I get the uh, DD hunting abilities I can go cap I can go bully um, broadsides of cruisers I can go broad, uh, bully broadsides of battleships I go out there spot again like I said going out there and being the point man and taking it for the team uh, let's see how I build this particular druid now this is my build again disclaimer you can build it however you want this is how I kind of like it it's, it's enjoyable it's fun it's, like I got the game is supposed to be fun and enjoyable improve hydro uh, the only turning ability, concealment, and gun reload. This one's for more long-range gun build. I sacrifice concealment, the extra heal, and the survival uh, survivability so I can take heavy AP. Here's the next game with the Delarna, which is the Super Holland on the map Mountain Range right here. We're going to go ahead and push the flank here. I know I got some support, and it's always good at the beginning to see who you're playing with and then what kind of ships are available, as well as where are your friendly ships going. If you look in the back there, you can see my Prussian at least is coming with me support. The other cruiser is a Minotaur so not sure if he has radar or smoke but most likely he's probably going to be just kind of lingering in the back making sure he's not going to get settled right off the bat and the shimikaze is also supporting us with spotting so knowing that i can go at least a little bit more aggressive knowing that i have a, a friendly um a counter force with me that in case i do get in a situation at least they can help me with uh, shooting and drawing fire the other cool things I like about Darlana is really the guns. They have two guns in the front now rather than just two guns, uh, like one in the front, one in the back with the Holland. At least we have three sets of guns, a little bit better. DPM, uh, great AA uh, that has the ability to switch between close range and long range torpedoes, kind of like the Yamagiri does. We are currently radar right now, so I'm going to go ahead and be conservative and draw away and uh, kind of egress the area. Let him take a couple shots at us. We're okay. It activates our Hadrenaline Rush. Again, this is pretty much a, a similar thing as the Holland. It's got the heals, the boost, and the defensive fire, which is great for all types of games. You know, you for CV work, for torp torping uh, runs. It's got the heals, of course, to re re um, reheal your 
uh, mistakes that you did by losing damage. And we got the, we can use these torpedoes to go out there and reach out and touch somebody. They go out to 15 kilometers, and they're going about almost 90 knots. So that's incredible for torpedoes, and they're good reload. Look at the reload right there. I just shot. I have they're already on cooldown, 100, one minute, and boom, I'm already getting another set in less than a minute. So that's really something I do enjoy about the Delarn and Holland. Of course, I do like the extra set of guns, and these angles of the guns are awesome. I mean, you can be kiting away almost full, like, 70 to 80 degrees, and you're getting some nice, uh, good uh, shots on something while running away or reversing into a cap. And then, of course, we also have the um, the two guns are in the front, which gives us the two-gun ability to nose in and bully DDs if we needed to. Uh, I, I'd say that... Uh, conservatively and sparingly because honestly the Dalarna is not a DD hunter I wouldn't go up against a Marceau or Druid or whatever with a Darlana but the front two guns being there allow you to at least have somewhat of a better engagement rather than having one turret like the small and Holland class kind of do um, that's my opinion, but we're getting radar in, so we're going to kind of wait and just be conservative and see if these torpedoes... Uh, we did connect a couple torpedoes on the Alaska, so he is flying, and boom, he gets torped by another Shimikaze on our team. The great teamwork right there, and that's... Uh, what makes the dream work, right? So we're going to speed it up and we're going to go back in the cab. There's a lot of sailing around in a lot of these random maps these days. So we're going to push forward. Um, and we've got this flank. Now we can go in and try to maybe potentially hunt the the, the CV, the can sky cancer of the game. And then ooh, we can hunt another destroyer. So we're right over here. So be conservative. So let's see. Well, he goes in the smoke. Nobody's spotting for him. So we're going to be going down south and uh, seeing if we can flank uh, the enemy destroyer if he turns back in or whatever is over here. Uh, we do have the battleship, which look at the range of our torpedoes. So we're going to just take a quick kind of pot shot, see if that helps out. I kind of do a nice spread about, hey, I shoot one on the uh, targeting rectangle marker, or, and then I shoot one uh, either left or right of that marker, because most of the time battleships are maneuvering. They're either slow down or speed up. And hopefully one of those torpedo sets will actually uh, connect and engage. Notice that this uh, Minis what is this? I can't read that. Is that a Wisconsin or Minnesota? No, I can't read. It's a Montana. So it's another battleship right there. Also taking a lot of torp damage from our friendlies. Hopefully these torpedoes connect. I mean, once you see these torpedoes coming, they're going so fast. It's almost impossible to uh, maneuver and get out of the way. Yeah, Montana is... Ooh, he's going to take a full set right here. Nice. And then... Oh, we get a Shimakaze. Again, blind torpedoing. It's really fun because these torpedoes are going so fast. Very, very difficult to um, uh, really avoid. Now, I thought about shooting my guns on this, but my torpedo torpedoes were almost coming off cooldown. And you know what? I said, you know what? Let's just shoot uh, the full tor full set, full racks right into his side because at this range, it's really, I mean, you're pretty much dead because they're going so fast at six to seven kilometers. These torpedoes are coming right at you. And you can just tell right here, he has no idea that it's coming from the right. And then they're so fast by the time you do see them. And the reaction time is about, I believe, about five to six seconds. Five to six seconds is not enough time to turn a full uh, battleship to uh, just avoid all these fast firing torpedoes and this is just a pretty shot right there look at that ladies and gentlemen take it all in boom splash two delarna with the kill on the montana right here and now we have another battleship that could play victim for us but unfortunately we have destroyers to deal with because that's another priority kill the destroyers right so let's see we're just gonna bum rush one of these destroyers i believe it's a uh, who is this yep it is the marceau or yamagiri this is our counterpart kind of so let's see if we can eliminate their super uh, kind of Shimakaze style. And the guns, look at the guns. They are just so super fire and reload, way better than Yamagiri, even though he has a uh, reload booster. Unfortunately, he cannot just survive the damage, and we got the heals. Boom, he goes down, and we can heal back our damage. Ooh, and you got another destroyer who's going to kind of try to play with us right here. The black. Now, we want to stay outside of 7.5 with the black because he has a radar. That um, 7.5 kilometer range, and he has smoke. So we're not going to deal with that. We have no counter to that, and nobody is in the area with radar other than the Alaska, which already popped it. But we're going to go ahead and eliminate a battleship, though. We'll let the Black go play by himself right now. We'll fire a good set into the Montana. And you know what? He mu he's almost dead. We almost have this game, so we'll go loud and actually start engaging. You look at the kind of DPM you can see on the, um, the Delarna. It's getting enough... Uh, kind of firepower out there to start some good fires kind of like the Holland style of shooting uh, Just a little bit you know, one extra set of guns to give you a better So this is really awesome I mean, I like the Delarn for this reason because it's just a better Holland I like the extra set of guns the same torpedoes the same defensive AA uh, everything you need in, in a multi-tool role for 
uh, World of Warship. He actually fires at us. Again, he wastes his shot on us, uh, knowing that, hey, it's not going to do anything other than we're going to mitigate the damage as much as we can. And boom, we take him out. Splash four. He goes down, and that is going to probably end it right there, just with that HP right there. And, we yep, we seal the victory, but... Yep, we took it right there to the town. Four kills. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay of it. That's some of my favorite ships right there, Dalarna and Druid. Let me know what you think about the gameplay and the ships as well. The build will be at the end of the screen or at the end of the gameplay. And there it is, four kills and about 60,000 damage. Not the greatest, but we did our part by eliminating as many players as we can off the map. Again, like, subscribe, button below. I do that stuff, doing a free premium DD giveaway. And as always, you guys stay safe. Make sure you say hi out there. And uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the rest of your week. Take care. Cheers.